Uh, Jay probably feels like, if I had to guess, you probably feel like you want to turn this way, right? I want to turn and I want to pull. You were wrestling with a little testicle. And he gets really white. <laughs> <laughs> little veiny testicle. <laughs> what, my head? Yes. Does it look like a veiny testicle? Yes. All, everything pops out and then you get white, like flush, whiter than you are now. You know, when someone turns white, that's when you need to worry about them. It's not when they turn red. When a person's turning red and it seems like they are like angry, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's not the person you got to worry about. It's when a person goes white, that's your body's reaction. It's pulling blood away from the surface to prepare you for doing like some shit. Like the fight or flight? Oh, fight or flight. We need to do a video on that. Fight or flight is one of the most misused misunderstood, thrown around concepts in this world of martial arts and self-defense. When you say fight or flight, what do you mean by that? I don't know, your, your, body, your body's in shock, like panic. Imminent danger. Yeah, you're in danger. Yeah, panic from imminent danger. I have never heard people say fight or flight and talk about flight. Whenever someone says fight or flight, they're justifying flipping out oh, and, like fighting. and fighting somebody. Fight or flight isn't even a complete description of what actually happens. In this video, I'm going to tell you what fight or flight really means and that there's actually five responses, not just two. So Kristen's cornered. Jay's a bad guy. Kristen's like, it's fight or flight. What she actually means is she feels justified in flipping out and like clawing this guy's face and just going ape shit. Yeah. That's when, when people say fight or flight, that's what they mean. Mm -hmm. What it means is uh, I am forced to make a decision based on this stimulus. Fight or flight means fight or flee. That's what flight means. Mm -hmm. It means like run away. All right. So, but no one ever uses it to describe that. But those aren't even all the possible outcomes. It's actually fight, flight, posture, submit, or freeze. But that doesn't roll off the tongue the same way fight or flight does. Uh, we've got fight, which we've covered a lot on this channel. We've got flight, which we'll be covering soon on this channel. But what is posture? A uh, bad guy has pushed me, right? And I'm like, motherfucker, I will knock you the fuck out. Yeah. True or not. It comes out. Your adrenaline's pumping. I might not even mean it. Yeah, it just comes out. I might be scared to death, right? And not even really mean that. I will fucking kill you. Right. Like, you don't even but then you hold it, that guy's going to go. Exactly. I and only said it business. so that I won't have to do it. Pushing someone is a form of posturing. It's not real violence. If I push you... If someone pushes yeah. you, they don't want to fight you. That's a form of posturing. That means you're trying to convey that you could do violence to this person. It's puffing up your feathers or a bird puffing out its chest or uh, animal fur sticking up. That's why I say when a person turns white, that means it's for real. When they turn red, that's a threat display. That's like a, oh, I'm, I'm a scary thing. I'm turning red. I'm really fucking <laughs> mad. And I just black out when I get mad and they have to pull me off. <laughs> People don't talk about the other two because they're not sexy or badass. And that's submit. And do you know what? I honestly think that submission is one of the most powerful forms of self-defense. Submission looks like this. It can be intentional. It can be by design. It can be a tactical choice. Uh, bad guy does bad guy shit, right? Do bad guy shit. Let's go, little guy. Let's go. No, 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 no. I do not want to fight you. Pussy, of course you don't. You're right. You can kick my ass, I know. And, I, and I do not want to fight you. I'm, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry, man. I'm really sorry about you whatever it is. Be. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. I'm really sorry. Walk away. You got it. Right? <laughs> I look like a bitch. Why am I saying I'm sorry? He started with me. It's so hard for people to separate their pride. If, if I'm minding my own business and he walks by and bumps into me, and I go, and he looks at me like, what the fuck's your problem? For me to go, I'm really sorry, man. I'm really sorry. <laughs> and then if he's like, you better be or I'll beat your fucking ass for me to say, you're probably right. People don't want to do that. No. Now, if you're dealing with a true monster who wants to murder you because they're a psychopath, that probably won't work. But if it's someone, if it's some just little like thing like this, yeah. it's hard to stay mad at a person that's like, well, dude, I'm I, sorry, yeah. yeah, like if, if I tell you that I'm scared of you, you, you won, you got what you wanted, you got yeah. the points without having to go to jail, without having to get hurt or without having to hurt me. You got all your man points and we all walk away. No one wants to hear that shit, but freeze is important. And we're going to do a video coming up soon. Uh, you probably would say something like, I would do anything to protect my children, right? Mm -hmm. Mama bear shit. Mm -hmm. You probably aren't going to do shit. Ah, that's going to 
have been pissing people off. Be realistic about what your reactions are going to be. If you don't have actual training, you will probably freeze. And in lieu of fight or flight, I would go with submission. I think that's actually the highest percentage. That's going to be super unpopular. Like people are going to hate that. People are going to hate that I'm suggesting that. But if you don't have training or experience in violence, I think that's the best bet. That's when your ass kicked. Yeah, I've had my ass kicked. It sucks.